Now back in Helena, there is still a team playing in the postseason right now. And after this weekend, they could be playing for a championship. This has been a season to remember for the Helena Bighorns. Last week, they swept rival Great Falls out of the playoffs to advance one step closer to hoisting the Frazier Cup next week at the NA3HL Championship in Illinois. A goal that is well within the grasp of this experience heavy team. I know one thing for sure is we had 10 veterans come back this year. Uh, right off the get-go, the veterans saw what it was like last year. Um, they wanted it to be better. They knew it was a tough year. They knew this year if we wanted it to be a good year, everybody's going to kind of have to come together. And I think right away they set the tone for that. The younger guys that came in fell in the line right away as far as bought into what they wanted to do, what the veterans wanted to do, and, and the way we should act. And I think from there, you know, once, once that happens, everybody's kind of getting along, and, and it kind of goes from there. Just everyone clicking right away. I mean, going out on the ice and just performing what we need to do and just sticking to our systems. That system is rooted in team unity, which is a lot harder to accomplish than you might think. But everyone on this team honestly seems to like one another. And that's proven to be the Horns' biggest asset. So far this year, we're, I think this team from the first two weeks of the year has been more unified than, than teams I've, I've ran across over the past few years at the end of the year. So uh, right away, they gelled really quickly. So we had good team unity. Lots of the guys are friends. They want to hang out with one another. Um, and then and more than anything, we've got a lot of guys who, as talented as they are, they're also good workers. So in practice, things like that. They're willing to put in the time Wednesday mornings when we're doing skills, all that, all that extra stuff off the ice as well they've been showing up for. We're just communicating on the ice and off the ice and working together during practice and knowing what we have to do and click together. And what's the point of having a championship run if you can't enjoy it? Actually, there's a lot of different personalities, so it makes it a lot, you know, really fun. You know, having a bunch of different Senses of humor on one team helps a lot. You got any clean stories you could tell? <laughs> uh, there's not too many of those. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> and if the guys keep playing like they have been, they'll definitely have one TV appropriate story to share, ending in a championship. Oh, it would mean the world to us. You know, we come out here, work hard every single day and that's what we're working for, so that would be a dream come true for us. The guys traveled to Wyoming tonight to take on the Yellowstone Quake in the first game of their series.